Hey, what you know about them V panels though? What is good everybody YouTube? It's your boy Ken Andrew Daily and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this V panel t-shirt. As you can see, it got this bandana print that almost looks like it's printed on but it's actually bonded in. It looks really crazy. You can use any type of fabric. You don't need to be like me and put the bandana print. You can put like some Hawaiian print, some floral print, whatever print you're feeling, you know, you can slap it on. But anyways, let me get straight into the tutorial. Here's an overview of everything you're going to need for the tutorial. Starting with the beastly tools, you're going to need cutting tools, a ruler, a seam ripper, and some pins. For the mighty expensive materials, you're going to need a half a yard of fabric of your choice and a t-shirt that you want to customize. To start off, you will need to turn the t-shirt inside out. First thing we're going to do is remove the sleeves. Go to the seam that connects the body piece to the sleeves and start seam ripping it. Be careful with that seam ripper as you can accidentally poke gigantic holes in your t-shirt and that's something you really just don't want to happen. Next thing on the list is to remove the collar piece. Look for the collar seam and proceed to seam rip it. It should literally come off in no time. If not, you might need to reevaluate your seam ripping skills. Last thing to seam rip is the top t-shirt seam. This is the seam that connects the front part of the t-shirt to the back part of the t-shirt. It's located here and it might take some time to remove but eventually it will come apart. Once you're done with all the seam ripping, you should end up with a collar piece, two sleeves, and an open body piece. Now we're going to cut out the V-like shape from the body piece. First thing we're going to do is make a crease along the middle of the shirt. We don't necessarily want to try to figure out where the middle is by guessing. So what you can do instead is take the t-shirt body, fold it in half, crease it with pressure, or if you're richer than me, you can iron down the crease. Since we're only replacing the front side of the t-shirt with a V-like shape, we need to flip the back side of the t-shirt downward so we don't accidentally cut it. Now we're going to cut out the V shape. Using a ruler, start from this point of the t-shirt and angle it accordingly. Then you want to cut from the first point to the middle crease. Afterwards, you want to repeat the same process for the other side of the V shape. If you did everything correctly, you should end up with a shape like this. Next, we're going to use the V shape that we cut out as a template for the new V shape we want to use. Grab the fabric you want to use and lay it nice and flat. Grab the V shape that we just cut and place it right over that fabric. Then you want to pin the V-shape in place. Using the template, cut out the V-shape. For the bottom part of the template, you will need a 1 inch seam allowance. For the top part, you will not need a seam allowance. Once you cut out the V-shape, you can remove the pins and you should end up with something looking like this. Now you want to take that piece we just cut back to the screwed up t-shirt. We are going to start with the top seam. Have the V-shape faced down so the wrong side of the fabric is facing you and start pinning along this area. Take it to your sewing machine and zigzag stitch along the pinned area. Next we're going to sew the bottom of the V-shape to the rest of the t-shirt. This may seem a bit intimidating at first, but if you carefully watch and practice yourself, it should seem less difficult. Starting from the middle of the V-shape, you want to pick a side and start working towards the edge. Piece the V-shape and the t-shirt together and proceed to pin them. Once you work your way to one of the edges, you want to take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the pinned area. Right after you finish one side, you want to repeat the same process for the other side. Carefully face the two fabrics together and pin them. Go back to your sewing machine and straight stitch the other side. Start and end with a back stitch. Once you're done with all that, all you need to do is sew back the sleeves and the collar piece. Grab one of the sleeves and make sure it's right side up, meaning the seam isn't showing, and insert it into the armhole like this. Match the bottom of the seam to the bottom of the armhole and start to pin the sleeve. You want to repeat this step for the other side. Go to your sewing machine and zigzag stitch the sleeves back onto the t-shirt. Last step is to sew back the collar piece. Turn the t-shirt right side up and go to the collar area. 
Take the collar piece and line up the open side to the neckline. Then pin it into place. Go to your sewing machine and zigzag stitch the collar. Once you're done with everything, you can now try on your new V-shape panel t-shirt. Let me know what you guys think about the tee. Would you rock it or not? Nah? But anyways, that's the tutorial. This is Ken Andrew Daily. And remember to keep it daily. Peace!